Hi, I'm Garrett Graves, and I'm here to tell you about clocking in at Wilmsend Recreation. We use a program called Time Clock Wizard. So, we all know that there's about 100 different usernames and passwords that we use on various websites to log in. So this is one more that you're going to need to learn how to use. So when you come into work at Wellness and Rec, you're going to go behind the front desk to the building manager computer. There, you'll type in your username and password. Your username is just your email address without the at Stetson. So for example, my email address is ggraves at stetson.edu. My username would just be ggraves. Your password is going to be the last six digits of your 800 number. And if it's not that, then it's your full 800 number. And if it's not that, I don't know what your password is. And talk to your supervisor. They'll help you get it sorted out. So why don't we take a look at what uh, clocking in is like here at Wellness and Rec. Did you just close out of what I was doing? You know it. Bye, girl. So let's go ahead and try looking up Time Clock Wizard from your phone. You can take a look to see your schedule on there depending on who your supervisor is and how they create their schedules. And it'll also show you how many hours you have actually clocked. Remember, you won't be paid unless the hours clocked in Time Clock Wizard reflect what is uh, logged through my Stetson. So that's very important. So what you'll do is you'll go to timeclockwizard.com slash login. So go ahead and take out your phones and try it now. Oh wait, seriously, go ahead and do it. So once you get your phone out, pull up your web browser, go to timeclockwizard.com slash login. So once you're there and that web page gets pulled up, it's going to ask you for a subdomain and that is simply wellness and rec. Again, the subdomain is wellness and rec. So once you log in here, that's a good way to check to make sure that your password and your username work properly. You can also utilize an app that they make for both iPhone and Android. Um, some of you will be able to clock in from your phone, which depends on your position. You'll know if that's you. Uh, your supervisor will tell you. Otherwise, this is a good way to check your schedule or see how many hours that you've actually logged. So, a few frequently asked questions. So, what happens if you forget to actually clock in, but you're already here? So, what you need to do is contact your supervisor immediately including all and any relevant information. When you got here, who was here with you, that sort of thing. Best to CC somebody else on there as well that was here with you. So another question is, well, what if I forgot to clock out? So what you need to do is actually reach out to your supervisor as, as soon as possible and let them know what happened. Also include any relevant information and CC anybody else that was there with you. And is there a penalty for clocking in or clocking in late or miss clocking in? Yes, there is a penalty for missed clocking. The first uh, occurrence will be a warning. The second will be a negative point. So make sure that if you have any issues, you reach out to your supervisor and let them know immediately, including any relevant information, along with CCing anybody else that was there with you. And that's Time Clock Wizard. Thanks so much. And if you have any questions, of course, contact your supervisor.